In the early 1900s, physicists were shocked. Light acted both as a wave and a particle. But could matter like electrons do the same? That's when Louis de Broglie made a bold prediction. De Broglie said, if light can behave like a particle in a wave, why not tiny particles like electrons? Using Einstein's E equals mc squared, which is particle energy, and Planck's E equals h nu, which is wave energy, he combined them to get lambda equals h over p, the famous matter wave equation. This meant, electrons have wave nature too, forming standing waves around the nucleus like vibrating strings in harmony. But this idea raised a deeper question. Can we ever pinpoint where an electron is and how fast it moves? That's when Heisenberg introduced his uncertainty principle. The more precisely you know position, the less precisely you know momentum, and vice versa. The formula is delta x times delta p is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi. So, electrons aren't particles orbiting neatly. They exist in a fuzzy cloud of probability around the nucleus. Here's why this matters. If an electron were forced close to the nucleus, meaning a very certain position, its momentum becomes highly uncertain. It could gain so much energy that it flies away. This uncertainty prevents the electron from crashing into the nucleus and keeps atoms stable. Without this quantum fuzziness, atoms, and the entire universe, wouldn't even exist in stable form. So thanks to de Broglie's waves and Heisenberg's uncertainty, we finally understood the mysterious quantum world, the reason atoms, chemistry, and matter itself exist. For more mind-blowing concepts, subscribe to Reaction Planet where science meets life.